coming right up, another fun varsity sports show. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and you. Hi kids, this is DJ Soul Man from the Funk Junkies. You're listening to the Varsity Sports Show on AM 1060 KDUS with my main man Vince Delicio right here in Arizona. Home of youth, high school, college sports, and of course, you. This program is paid for by the JV Sports LLC and its partners. You're listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Home of Arizona's youth, high school, college sports, and you. Empowering education and enabling dreams. Right here on KDUS AM 1060 in Arizona. And now, welcome to the Varsity Sports Show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Varsity Sports Show. Vince Delisio here. Uh, we are broadcasting. This is live radio, folks. And anytime there's live radio, you get some surprises. Um, we are broadcasting today as part of our Summer Spotlight Series. We're out at Alhambra High School in Phoenix uh, with our Summer Spotlight Series featured guest co-host today, Ms. Dana Bailey. She is the COO of... Homeless Youth Connection. Dana, how are you? Good morning. I'm great. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. So we're going to get into talking more. We've got a couple of other guests with us as well, uh, and we'll introduce them in in our next segment. So sit tight. We're going to get into talking about some other things with regard to Homeless Youth Connection uh, in our next segment. But first, we've got a regular segment. As you know, Dana, you are new to the Varsity Sports Show, but we feature... A, uh, a weekly segment called the Thursday Night Football Face-Off. And it's obviously not Thursday night right now. It's Saturday morning. My name is Vince Delisio, And uh, in case you didn't know that. And, um, and, and so this fall, we are going to feature a Thursday night high school football game of the week. Every week leading up to our season kickoff on August 26th, uh, we are featuring a couple of coaches from those games and this week is no different we're going to feature a couple guys flash hit our intro it's the thursday night football baseball the head football coach at cactus shadows high school mr mike hudnut and the head football coach from campo verde high school Mr. Ryan Freeman. Coaches, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ben. How's it going? All right, there we go. So we got Freeman and we got Hudnut. So that's going well. Guys, how are you doing both today? Well, we're doing great for a Saturday morning. That's it. So you guys are you're both good, good friends of mine. At least I like to say that you are. I don't know if you believe that. But uh, you're both good <laughs> friends of mine. I've known you both for a long time. And, uh, and so I wanted to, to talk to you because you guys have a pretty good rivalry going. Uh, this fall, we appreciate the opportunity to feature you as one of our Thursday night high school football games of the week. It's going to be early in the season. It'll be out at, at Gilbert Campo Verde High School, and it's going to feature the Coyotes and the Falcons. And looking forward to it, let's start with the home team. Coach Freeman, tell us a little bit about your offseason, how things been going. Uh, this off season's been going good. Uh, it's definitely been a whole lot better for me this year. Uh, last year as a first year head coach in the middle of all of the COVID craziness. Uh, you know, I've been very honest with people. I feel like a lot of last year I was just chasing my tail. This year, I feel pretty good about where we're at and where we're headed. Well, let's let's uh, let's talk about last year. So last year, you guys. Uh... What you guys were semifinalists, and uh, you finished the season, I believe, five and three. Uh, tell us a little bit about Team Ten, special group. 
Yeah, Team 10 was a special group. Uh, probably headlined in most recognizably by uh, Caden Calloway, uh, just an amazing running back that we were lucky enough to have for multiple seasons. Uh, was great in the community, great for our program. And there was a lot of other seniors on that group. Jake Lichty comes to mind, the offensive lineman. Mark Liano on the defensive side of the ball. Um, just such a great group of kids at Team 10. Coach Hudnut, so last season, last season you faced this Campo Verde team. Uh, I believe it was, uh, was it the quarterfinals, I think? I think it was the second yeah. round of the playoffs, or was it the opening round you faced these well, guys? Well, it was the opening round because they cut us eight teams last year. Yeah, and uh, and and you finished the season four and three. Uh, you exceeded some some expectations, some odds, and and uh, mm-hmm. and actually had a strong finish on the tail end of the season. Obviously, uh, uh, had a had a tough time in that final game, but um, you had a pretty good quarterback. You had a, a pretty good supporting cast. What's the off season been like for you? Well, I think it's it's finally got back to a little bit of normalcy. Um, I mean, obviously, there's still some restrictions here and there, but. For the most part, it's been a normal summer, and uh, we're excited about the opportunity to go in and hopefully get a 10-game season in this year. Yeah, we're hoping for that as well. Um, Coach Freeman, this season, you guys are opening that first game on September 3rd. You're playing uh, out at uh, Desert Edge, the Scorpions. I know you've been watching film. What are you seeing? Well, Desert Edge is just such a talented team, top to bottom speed at every position, size across the board, and really well coached. Um, the Carters out there at Desert Edge, they do a great job. They get their kids excited to play football, and it's just a really good program, and I'm looking forward to that opportunity to kind of show where we're at. We've got some changes on our side, um, so you never know how it will go. Well, and, and you, I mean, you're starting off. You're facing a, a real tough team there, um, Coach uh, Coach Hudnut. Let's talk about your opening game. You're hosting the Jackrabbits. You talk about a storied program. You know, one of the the great historic programs in the state of Arizona. And uh, um, what can you say about Mesa? How are they looking? Well, they're going to be a tough team. I mean, our, our first two games are going to be a true test of of what we have for a football team this year, and. I think Mesa is going to give us a lot of challenges, and we need to come prepared and ready to go. And uh, Coach DeGrenier will do a great job preparing his kids. I know that. All right, guys. Now this is the point in the segment where we talk about each other. So first of all, let's keep it civil. I know you guys are good friends off the field, and we kid each other and whatnot. But uh, Coach Freeman, what can you say about uh, what you'd expect from, from Coach Hudnut's uh, Cactus Shadows team when you guys face off on uh, Thursday, September 9th? You know, I, I love watching Coach Hudnut's team, Jack the Shadows. Uh, I'm from Ohio, so anytime I get to see an offense with two backs, a tight end, a, a team that wants to run the ball and then play action off of it, it it's definitely exciting, and, and I have a lot of respect for that. Maybe I'm just a little too old school uh, in that perspective, but really well coached, very disciplined on defense. Um they had some defensive linemen last year that just made our life miserable. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the opportunity uh, with that game. All right, Coach Hudnut. Don't leave anything out. What do you think of uh, of Campo Verde? We need some bulletin <clears throat> board material. Well, you know what? They're, they're hard-nosed. And, uh, you know, we played them in the playoffs last year. We knew that. Um, you, you don't win the games in the last couple of years like they have and not be disciplined and tough. And, um, you know, they got some farm kid looking types. And when he talks about being from the Midwest, it, those are the kind of kids you'd you know, love to have on your, on your roster. So uh, I think, you know, it, it'll be a disciplined game on both sides and, and uh, it'll be a hard fought back. Coach Freeman, you've, uh, you know, top to bottom, uh, you've got a, a, from what I've seen, and, and having been the PA announcer out there for a couple of years, I, I became very familiar with uh, Campo Verde, and a good friend of mine used to be the football coach, and now he is your athletic director, uh, so you're still working under Max Ragsdale, but what can you say about admin as well as uh, your support staff, your other coaches out there? Uh, our admin's been great. We, we actually got a new principal this summer. Uh, Mr. Tyler Dumas has taken over. 
So we've had that change. But Mr. Dumas is great. He's been with us in the past as an assistant principal. So we're really excited to have him in that leadership position. You know, of course, working under Coach Ragsdale, uh, he was the one that brought me out to Arizona in the first place and a really close friend of mine. So that's been great. Um, Staff-wise, uh, we have had to make a couple of changes. Our offensive coordinator uh, decided not to coach any longer, uh, same as our offensive line coach. So we've got a, we've got a couple of changes. Uh, we've added some new members to the staff, but I'm definitely excited about the direction our staff is going. We've got a lot of young guys on our staff that are excited to be there. Coach Hudna, you've uh, you've developed a good core group of people that have worked with you, and I, I worked with a couple of those guys as well. Um, what can you say about your staff, your administration? Uh, I know your superintendent fairly well, uh, Dr. Uh, Cord Monroe. Uh, seems like a good guy, but uh, you got a new principal as well out there. Talk to us a little bit about those folks. Yeah, I think, you know, the expectations are high for the football program. I think anybody knows that you know, when you come into high school and the football team goes, the, the school goes, and uh, that, that's kind of where their expectations lie, and uh, we're going to try to meet those expectations. I think the support is there. I know my athletic director is fantastic, and uh, she'll do a great job, and and everything that we need in preparation leading up to all of our football games. And, you know, I think our admin will do a great job. As, you know, as far as our staff goes, uh, you know, I didn't lose anybody, which is a positive. Um, I actually gained. I uh, was able to move a couple guys up to varsity. So I feel like we've even uh, made our staff stronger in the past year. Awesome. Okay, Campo Verde High School head football coach Ryan Freeman, Cactus Shadows, Falcons, head football coach Mike Hudnut. Gentlemen, thanks again for joining us. We will see you on Thursday night, September 9th, out at Campo Verde. Should make for a great game. Guys, thanks again for joining us here on the Thursday night football face-off. Thanks for having me. Okay. All right. So that was our – so we're already at the end of a first segment here, and uh, and, and it's a regular thing that we do, you know, in in talking to these coaches. They're great guys. Um, They're all about the – and, and we have fun with it. Now, when we come back from the break, we are going to be joined by Dana Bailey, the COO of um, Homeless Youth Connection, Don Bogart, the CEO of Homeless Youth Connection, Cindy Tercero from the Phoenix Union High School District. It's going to be a great show. Folks, stick around. Join us after the break. we got our producer behind the board, Flash Gordon. Uh, it should make for a, a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be back. And, and we're going to have a great rest of the show. we got a couple other surprises up our sleeves. So, Join us here on the Varsity Sports Show, folks. Thanks again for joining us on a Saturday morning. We will be back after the break. Go Varsity.